Okay, so, so this is part two of a two-part video on how to string a wooden tennis racket. Uh, in part one, I did the mains and was still trying to kind of count everything out. Again, I had never done one personally other than being around it, observing it, and, and studying some about it. Um, I did the mains on the previous video, uh, so if you want to see my tie-offs, uh, where I started, how I knew that, etc., look at the first one. Um, I'm going to do my crosses on this video. Um, I know that uh, having completed my mains and not quite knowing the shooting pattern, I know now that I'm very confident that it's an 18 by 20 shooting pattern. So that means I'm going to have 20 crosses. I, I may do the whole video. Um, we have a tennis tournament this afternoon and have to leave here. In the not too distant future, our high school team is playing... Uh, Alma Bryant or is the high school. We're playing Davidson in, in Mobile, Alabama. So, again, on those tournaments, if we have a perfect day at the office and our team wins five out of six matches, we can win. Uh, because, again, we give up three defaults right off the bat, one doubles and two singles. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, interested, check out the Alma Bryant tennis updates on videos before this. Um, but we have four boys in total where most teams have six, seven, eight plus. Um, so uh, my two sons have to win their matches singles, the, they both have to win their doubles, and another one of the other two boys has to win a singles because it's the first of five. So, hey, you never know, we could win. I, I know the girls are doing well too. I know the girls are hungry for their first win. So we're going to give shots out, by the way, in this racket stringing video to the boys and girls at the Bryant High School tennis team who work really hard. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have their own court at the school to practice on, so... Um, they uh, could recruit a lot more, I think, with, with some courts built there. I think Murphy's getting new courts. I think Davidson has courts. I think Baker's very close to a bunch of courts. Um, uh, da, 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 I'm not sure the other high schools that have courts. But anyway, hopefully we see more courts because it's a good sport and, and, and the kids deserve it these days. Anyway, uh, the, the crosses on this Woody, because of how I counted it off 18 by 20, um, and I'm doing a two-piece string job, by the way, two separate pieces of string. I'm going to start it at seven head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I tied off at six head. So I put my starting knot at six head and ran my first cross through seven head. So I'm going to weave back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I get down to seven head or seven throat down here. And then it looks that looks like I can squeeze in between uh, a couple of these grommet holes down here to tie off on. Um, so I'm going to give it a wing, but uh, so far it's been smooth sailing. Uh, so we'll, let's see how it goes. By the way, subscribe below if you have questions and, and, and you subscribe. I, I can answer them if you have them. Um, but again, so far it's been smooth sailing for me. All right. So I started my starting knot already. I did a, a, a normal starting knot uh, over and around twice and then up and back through. And I like to weave a couple ahead just so it's easier for me to weave my cross strings. Now these are shared holes. My seven, eight, and nine, I've got three shared holes, meaning that this string is sharing a hole with a main string. This could be problematic. I don't know. I haven't looked. I figured I would experience that right here on camera. So uh, right now I'm trying to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've come through seven, which is a shared hole. Now I'm trying to go through eight head. Right through. Okay, we have under, over, so I don't want to get crossed here. Under, over. Shared holes, sorry, I had to make sure I was right. I thought I was messed up, but the shared holes are a rare sight for me. But I did, I came out just fine. So I'm going to pull on my first main so I can secure my knot, number one.
Got it. Not held good. I thought it would. I was a little skeptical on this old racket, but no problem. I'm using on the crosses uh, a Babolat synthetic gut string, 16 gauge. I thought I may have to adjust my clamp there, but I did not have to. Whoops. My fault there, I wasn't paying attention, too busy talking. That's all right though. This is again a practice run for me. I've been wanting to string woodies uh, as part of business for a while. So I am at now my first, second going in my third cross and third shared hole. She seems a little bit tighter. All right, so I'm gonna pull out my bent nose pliers and hope that I can get it through there. I did. Thank you. All right, so I on my last hole, I, again, I haven't gotten to the string yet, so I want to make sure I keep my alternate weaving going. Pardon my slowness here. So we're going good, going good. Over, under, under, over. Got it, got it. All right, so we're good here. Now the rest of my holes, the rest of my holes should be nice and clear. So I shouldn't necessarily have to worry anymore. Well, this one don't speak too soon. Again, shared hole being an issue. I don't know if you can see it, but I still think I can get it through there. There we go. Dang. All right. Yes. All right. Here we go. So now we should be off and running, really, in terms of getting this racket completed. I'm really happy about that right there, actually, because that's exciting for me. Uh, I, did, I, I had my mixed emotions about those shared holes up there, and if I had counted it off right, and I did, so I give myself a fist pump on that. Right. Like it a lot. Now I'm doing a hybrid string job on this racket. So I'm going to hit with this racket. Once I get done with it, I'm going to regrip it. I'm going to hit with this thing. I'm going to hit hard with it. Let's we'll see what we can do. I might even videotape it. If not, my excuses are knee and wrist. So I'm just not. Not for real. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm still recording over here. So I'm about. I'm about eight minutes into this video, and, and I definitely don't want to uh, have you just stare and, and just be like, "Geez, I, I really wanted to do this to show you um, the shared hole aspect of it." I'm gonna run into the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to knock out these middle mains. All I'm doing here from 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 10 or so throat is going back and forth and alternating my leaves. Just pay attention to that. And I'll make a part 3 and finish it, and then a part 4 hitting with it. So hey, uh, so far so good with the, uh, with the standard size Jack Kramer Autograph Pro Staff. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe below. Appreciate it. Any questions, let me know. I'll get back to you or Coach Carlo will. See ya.